taking a drive through the fields. Army worms are out in full force. Cutting in another field and started finding some spots with damage. So now we're assessing some of the other fields to see what they look like. Wow. They started up there on top. Are you saying that because you see damage or because I, you see the worms? I see worms. So is this field too mature and that's why they're not chomping down? I think maybe. I mean, maybe. That's why they're not infested in here yet. But that, that top up there, but there are some here, like there's You're shading it. Oh, oh you knocked him off. off. Both of them fell off. Dang. Um, I see another nice. one. I see one. Yep. Let's see if I can find you. Right here. there. I think I'm just going to take this down before. Yeah. It's amazing how much damage they can do so quickly. There's another one. Yeah, I think this, I'm just going to cut it down today and be done with it and start over. There he is. Wow. They caught, they, they caught me by surprise a little bit, but... I mean, what do you, I mean the other, only other thing I can do is spray this thing and, and let it try to regroup. What do you say? I mean... I really, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do on this. Guess we got to talk it out. Now he's checking a field that's already been cut for a couple days and I just got through tedding. See how it's curing. I certainly don't think it would be too, I mean, what time is it? Uh, actually don't know. I mean, there's still green stems and stuff in it. We'll just, we're just going to pick it up tomorrow. I don't want to get rid of it. See how green these are. These stems. This is that jigs. It's just, I mean, it makes them really nice hay. It just, it's just not, just not what you want to. I'd never plant it again. That's for sure. So if you're thinking about planting jigs, don't do it. And why not? It's the stems are too thick. It's too hard to dry. The leaves dry faster than the stems. I mean, I use a conditioner, and you know, you you have runners and stuff. I mean, it's spray. If you have cows, or you want to make cow hay or something like that, it's it's not bad, but yeah, it's just less forgiving than coastal. It if is. you don't take it right when it's ready, it's just, you start encountering issues. There's just no. It's got a very small window. No relief at all. What, are we going to have one field that's like ready to go? Oh, I'm starting to wonder if both of these coastal fields are ready to go. Yeah, so this is the field that um, has the army worms in it. And I was just, I figured it probably looked a little different than the rest of our field. So I thought I'd explain 
This is what we call the reclaimed field. It doesn't have um, any pivots, so no irrigation that way. And then on top of that, our water rills, our water supply for the water rills, we just don't have the resources to reach this field. But it had such pretty coastal in it that we're kind of trying to, to bring it back and, and actually into production to make hay off of it. It's just a slow process because the weather's been so wacky. So it was going pretty well. It's like the third, maybe the fourth year that we've been fertilizing it, weed controlling it, and, and keeping it cut. And it was looking pretty decent. And then we got that stretch from like May to, I don't know, it might have been... It was definitely June and most of July that it didn't get any rain and it took a lot of stress and it just wasn't looking very, very good. And then we got, we decided to leave it because it was so stressed that we got that rain and we wanted to see if it would kind of fill back out a little bit just to make round bells out of it. And now, of course, it has army worms in it, but I just thought I'd explain why it looked different than the other fields because it's actually not irrigated. So we talked it over and we decided to go ahead and cut down the reclaim field. He's been, he's still working on the outer rings, so he hadn't been started for long. But it's getting late in the day and he hasn't taken time to eat. So I brought him a snack. I cut him up some watermelon. And I'm fixing to jump in the tractor with him. Go around with him for a little while just because he gets bored in there. Got mud on your blades? Yeah, these, these uh, I get crawdad. I don't, I get crawdad mounds here. See this mud gets in between these blades, and it, and it quits cutting. So you gotta, you gotta dig it out. So now you got strips in your field? Yep. Foot strap. That was hard there. Put stripes in it, you start seeing stripes, you know you got mud filled up. Look at that. Might that have been when you went around the pond and maybe. <laughs> but it's uh It's not because the field, it's dry out here. It's just, uh, it's crawdad mounts. I got black dirt, so these crawdads like it. Wow, that did get eaten up with some more damage there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh well, we're laying it down for rolls. It is what it is. Make rolls out of it. Get them in. I've got a place that takes rolls from me, so that's all you can do. I don't make room. I don't really make any money making rolls, but it keeps cash flow going. So there you go. That's about all I can say about that.